you were designed for your purpose. Purpose has to do with why you exist, what, what you do, what you are good at, um, your, your aspirations, your values, your commitments in life, uh, your talents, your gifting, all that is wrapped up into purpose. Purpose is always interdependent. There's no like solo purpose in life. Your purpose is leading to something and only in community can you fully realize um, a total purpose. Hello everyone, how are you doing? I hope you're doing well, of course. When you know it's Tuesdays, especially at this time of the day, it is time for relationships. And this is Decoding the Process. My, my name is Martha, I'm your host today. And definitely we have also been joined by an amazing, amazing guest who definitely has been here before and he made it very unique last time and I believe he has something better for us today and I know he is here to do great things. Thank you very much, Pasi. You can introduce yourself. Once again, thank you. It's a pleasure just being here. My name is Daniel Masawi, youth pastor and always passionate about young people. Mm. Yeah. Wow. And by the way, he has a very beautiful wife and children, my friend. Next mm. time they should be here. I mean, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> especially um, the, 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 the amazing, amazing Rhoda. Hi, mm. Rhoda. Mm. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So um, thank you for joining us today and, of course, for being with us here again. And uh, thank you, our viewers, for being with us consistently. I believe so every week on Tuesday. So today we are talking about, we are still extending on the topic of purpose. Mm -hmm. Where last time, of course, you need to catch up with what we discussed. We discussed purpose and relationships mm -hmm. and how they are connected. So today we will talk about the partner mm -hmm. and how do we, you know, get to balance choosing the partner with regards to the purpose that is set before us. Mm -hmm. So yeah, you can dive in. Wow, wow. Um, I, I, I think once again, um, purpose, and your partner, they're, they're really related still. Yeah. Um, your purpose will lead you to, uh, to your partner mm. because like I mentioned earlier on, purpose is interdependent. Mm. Um, your unique purpose and my unique purpose will one way or another make uh, our paths cross. And by us relating mm -hmm. or partnering mm -hmm. in life, we get to fulfill our, 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 our life's purposes. Mm -hmm. So that's how, how I see uh, purpose mm. leading us to know who to choose as our partners mm. in life. So yeah. should we consider purpose when choosing a partner? You know, we have so many, okay, reservations when it comes to, re, you know, relationships. Mm. For instance, you know, I want, let me um, start with the physical aspects. Maybe mm. I want a tall guy, maybe I want a short lady, maybe mm. I want a light skin, a dark skin. Or in characters, we mm -hmm. maybe want, you know, definitely, um, we all have, I don't even know how to talk mm -hmm. about that, but mm -hmm. basically, let me use an example, like, if I want a calm guy mm -hmm. who just doesn't have so much to do with noise and everything, you know, mm -hmm. all those things. Mm -hmm. I just want somebody who can respect me, you know, and mm -hmm. all those things. So now, can is purpose one of the factors to consider when choosing a partner? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, in, in, in many ways, still purpose is related with how we choose partners in this sense. You are designed for your purpose. Mm. Purpose has, has to do with why you exist, mm. what, what you do, what you're good at, mm. um, your, your aspirations, your values, your commitments in life, uh, your talents, your gifting, all that is wrapped up into purpose. Mm. You were designed uh, to do a particular thing in life mm. that makes you tick. And so even your tallness or your shortness has to do with purpose. Yeah. And so how you use that to choose a partner is that that person that you are to choose, that partner, is equally, is equally gifted in ways. Mm. In, he's using, he's discovering his purpose. He's trying to do life. Mm. And um, he can only complete that with another. Like I mentioned earlier, purpose is always interdependent. Mm. There's no like solo purpose mm. in life. Your purpose is leading to something. And only in community can you fully realize um, total purpose. 
So that saying is there's always your plug somewhere mm. in the world. Um, yeah. You can be a tall person, mm. but there's a short person who's looking for a tall person yeah. to complete their purpose. Mm. And that's why it, it, it's, 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 it's good to consider purpose when choosing a partner. Mm. I'll give you a good example. Um, I had mentioned it earlier. Um, like, for example, if you do not consider a purpose and one's purpose in life was to become a nun and you, you you're looking for a wife to marry. Mm. I mean, how can a nun marry somebody who yeah. who doesn't believe in celibacy? Mm. You know, so so you have to really consider purpose. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Mm. So now we are considering purpose. Mm. Now, definitely, we know that um, um, people have different orientations. Mm -hmm. Maybe I'm called mm -hmm. to do this. Mm -hmm. You're called to do that. Mm -hmm. Should I be looking for somebody who who basically serves like me, mm -hmm. who mm -hmm. does the same thing I do, mm -hmm. or how you know how do we now do I now really get to the practical part of now that I'm considering purpose? What in purpose should I consider? Mm -hmm. Is it the synergy mm -hmm. in me joining a, t a different kind of person and making a team, or is it I have to be looking for somebody who looks like mm -hmm. me? Mm. That's an interesting. Uh, it, it brings another different uh, an aspect of purpose. Mm. Your purpose differentiates you. Mm. In essence, your purpose makes you different, mm. and, and 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 so you need to be you, in order to find a fit, mm. another different person. God created, God never creates anything similar. Yeah. Never. That's mm. why we have different fingerprints. Mm. No one is similar. Um, he thrives in diversity, but he also um, brings all his purposes together because he joins all those differences to represent him, the wholeness. Mm. And so um, you being different, um, we shouldn't be looking for somebody similar. Mm. Um, we are created different and, and, and our purpose makes us different. Uh, but the beauty of it is that your purpose and my purpose will only find fulfillment if those differences come together. Yeah. It's the difference that makes a difference, if mm. I may say so. <laughs> yeah. So, wow. so it's, it's not so much looking for somebody who, um, who is similar, mm -hmm. but rather somebody who is complementary. Mm -hmm. uh, because we might be going to the same... Um, uh, um, we might be having different aspirations, but both of us um, know what good life is. Mm. So it's more complementary oh. than uh, oh. being similar. Mm -hmm. yeah. So let me like um, mention a few instances. Um, starting with a major one, for instance, can somebody who's, um, um, for instance, a man mm -hmm. who is looking forward to be a pastor in the near mm -hmm. future, mm -hmm. or let me actually use the converse, the, the woman, you know, most times mm -hmm. they think it's easier for the man being a pastor yes, yes. and uh, the lady maybe not being a pastor, mm -hmm. but the woman wants to actually be a pastor. Mm -hmm. And this man, maybe for him, he is pursuing professional the professional world. Mm -hmm. Can those two people come together mm -hmm. and be able to work together? Yes, um, because there's a bigger purpose. Mm. There's a bigger purpose than their unique purposes. A bigger purpose, for example, is family. Mm -hmm. um, uh, both of them would want to, to raise a family. Kids, mm -hmm. have kids, become fathers, mothers uh, to people. Regardless of whether they are pursuing vocational, maybe the pastor mm -hmm. and another one is pursuing professional. Mm -hmm. Both of them can find synergy in raising a family. Mm -hmm. And that's where um, their two purposes come to play, mm. as in they are different in their unique individual purposes, mm -hmm. but they have one general overall purpose, mm -hmm. which is to raise a family. Mm -hmm. So they can still come together and and and, and their own unique uh, purposes are complementary. Mm -hmm. And they will feel fulfilled that they are now in one family, yet pursuing different purposes. 
Mm. Another instance, can a musician marry a politician? You know, I mean, those are two extremes. Maybe somebody is in politics, mm -hmm. pursuing um, a political seat, and definitely maybe he's already in politics. And this is a musician. Mm -hmm. Now, can those two, or do I really have to be a musician to really marry a musician? Do I have to be in the field of pol politics to really marry somebody who is in politics? Mm -hmm. Or can you know people in those two different fields come together? I think again, I, I'll go back to the uh, what I was alluding on earlier on mm -hmm. is what is their general goal? Mm -hmm. um, that their two unique purposes mm -hmm. are uh, when they come together, they will fulfill generally. Mm -hmm. um, are they going to become better people mm -hmm. while they are? This is a musician, this is a pastor. Um, what is their general goal? Mm. Where are they headed mm. to? Um, but also, yes, you would need to consider uh, your purpose because many times by looking at somebody's purpose, mm -hmm. unique purpose, you will know whether you are headed in the right direction, in the same direction, or whether there will be complementarity mm. between the, the two. Mm. So at, at times, your purpose may cancel who... Mm. Can, 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 can help you to distinguish who to partner with or who not to, mm. based on their purpose. Because yeah. like I, I had mentioned earlier on, um, if, if one's life's goal is to be celibate, mm. and you as you're thinking of multiplying and filling the earth, mm. I mean, those are two purposes that are cross purposes. So, mm. yeah, so in that instance, I think, Consider where, find a bigger purpose mm. in which the two of the you two are fitting in. The two of you actually meet. Because yeah. mm. yeah. somebody would say maybe the singer will sing for the politician in meetings. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the politician will give the musician exposure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but well, um, I also feel it's important to really find a bigger purpose. Whether you're actually even in the mm -hmm. same line, mm -hmm. there should be something mm -hmm. that both of you submit to yes. as one. Yes. And uh, we can now also pa pursue our yes. individual yes. purposes, yes. which is very, very yeah. needful. And I hope you're also getting it from us, guys. Definitely, purpose is important. Mm -hmm. Because choosing a partner and uh, you haven't considered your pa purpose, at least even if you're not, there are people who are in the same field, but mm -hmm. they can't support mm -hmm. each other. Mm -hmm. At least if somebody is willing to support you for who you are, then it's very easy for you to go ahead. Mm -hmm. That is why we're saying purpose is very important. So mm -hmm. um, we are going to be talking more about this in our next part of the show and of course we will learn a lot about how to now work together especially now in the area of purpose and supporting each other as a couple thank you for joining us and of course we will be right back after the break you have to make sure that whatever is coming in is balanced with whatever is going out this these are our initial strategy these are the things that you need to do again with the new information, with the new environment that you're in. Do not live beyond your means. Hi guys, welcome back and definitely we continue talking about purpose. And before we delve into what we are waiting for, as we conclude, there's something I want um, our guest to confirm to us. I mean, the, the, the issue of purpose, and everything, its importance and uh, its functionality. Mm -hmm. I just want you to bring that into play as we continue understanding how we now get to help each other. Mm -hmm. Yes, Yes. Um, I think there's a broader sense in which we need to understand what purpose is. Um, purpose is not necessarily a preserve for, for the priests, mm -hmm. a special calling, a divine calling. Mm -hmm. uh, purpose is what you do in life that that defines why you exist. Mm -hmm. um, it can be simply um, be around your gifting, maybe your singing, mm -hmm. maybe it, it can be helping others um, in hospitals, in churches, mm -hmm. um, it can be a teacher, it can be whatever provides utility or solves a problem mm -hmm. in society. That is purpose. Mm -hmm. And so when you see purpose as solution providing, mm -hmm. then it can be a myriad of 
things you do in life. Mm -hmm. And so um, when, when, when you consider that, when you have that understanding of purpose as solution providing, mm -hmm. then it's easy to identify a partner who together you may be solving a common problem. Yeah. And that makes, um, um, that makes a whole difference of you having different purposes because both of you bring different energies to solving a common problem. And that's how you use your purpose to find a partner. Because wow. yeah. I'm like, you know what, we were mentioning the different areas people have. You know, for yeah. instance, if um, um, the man is a pastor and the lady mm -hmm. is an accountant, I yeah. mean, I can bring a financial view of things in your church. Exactly. And that doesn't mean I have to preach on the pulpit. Exactly. I have actually solved so many problems and mm -hmm. I have made peace with the mm -hmm. fact that finances can be accounted mm -hmm. for in mm -hmm. that company. Mm -hmm. So basically, we are all bringing in the energy to solve a common problem. A common problem. And even a common problem of loneliness. You know, yeah. both of you come to solve that problem of mm. loneliness, and by you coming together, mm. I mean that's still purpose. And I think in regards to that, it's it's very clear that um, the purpose of marriage is actually not. Like you're saying, the loneliness and yes. many other things that God brings people together for. If mm -hmm. are you going to make this person by the time they are getting to heaven mm -hmm. be presentable to the neighbor? Yes. Because I'm giving yes. you an accountability of a lifetime for you to be with this person. Because mm -hmm. he is a raw material, she is a raw material. Mm -hmm. Are you going to help them become a better person mm -hmm. in the journey of life? Are you mm -hmm. going to be the cause of depression or the cause of happiness, yes. you know, all those yes. things. So yes. like you're saying, purpose, and even marriage in itself has its purpose mm -hmm. beyond mm -hmm. even the larger individual purposes mm -hmm. and maybe mm -hmm. the godly purpose of your marriage. Mm -hmm. the, the one main purpose definitely mm -hmm. is children. Yes. I mean, even if yes. you don't have anything all to do in this earth, raising mm -hmm. a godly generation is a purpose mm -hmm. in itself, mm -hmm. which God expects you continue doing. Mm -hmm. Wow, so I think there's a better understanding in how you've put it, that yes. um, there's, a, there's a common goal and a solution can come up, so mm -hmm. it brings a lot of sense. Mm -hmm. So now in regards to that, how do people now begin to work together to really um, bring out the best in each other, mm -hmm. in that um, uh, area of purpose, definitely, mm -hmm. and uh, now, especially when people are in two different mm -hmm. areas. Mm -hmm. Now we can start with that, then we can go to now when people are working in the same probably kind of line, as much as they're all uniquely different and uniquely assigned, mm -hmm. now we can differentiate how do we help each other become effective mm -hmm. in our purpose. I think the starting point also always has to be with one really understanding themselves, mm -hmm. um, which areas they are gifted in order for them to know how they can complement or add value in somebody else's life. Mm -hmm. And so if, if you're two different people pursuing two different purposes mm -hmm. in life, uh, once you have understood where your strength is and have understood your partner's role in life, mm -hmm. what they want to accomplish, mm -hmm. and how you can add value using your, your gifting, I think that would be the starting point. Mm -hmm. Understanding yourself, what you're good at, mm -hmm. and what you can add uh, value to your partner. I think that's that should be the basis of where where people ought to start from. You, 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 not just saying we are two different people, I think this will help you without having known which gap you are. Like I mentioned, our purpose has to do with solution providing. Maybe they are pursuing, for example, you're an accountant and a pastor uh, and your partner is a pastor. Um, maybe what your pastor needs is not your accounting skill, mm -hmm. but the emotional support yeah. as a pastor, mm -hmm. you know, that companionship. If that is what they need in order to thrive in their pastoral duty, then provide that mm -hmm. and that you'll be still uh, doing purpose. Yeah, the background that. support I mean. Exactly. Because I'm really going to face a crowd. Will yes. you give me the environment to prepare well? Will yes. you help me with other duties so yes. that I can focus yes. on this? Yes. Yeah, definitely. And also even just being present. Mm -hmm. You know, you're married to a pastor. So now the pastor is complete mm -hmm. in his office. He's a married man. Mm -hmm. You know, already you've already played that part for him. Mm -hmm. You know, helping fulfill that purpose. But just mm -hmm being a partner, mm. not even doing anything, 
Yeah. Them just knowing that he has a wife. So this is not a lone pastor. He has a wife. So in presence in itself has already sorted out that purpose. Mm. So purpose has to be seen in that dynamic mm. way in which it is utility. Not just that one single thing mm. that we think maybe that's what God has called me. And again, God is always, um, God is a God of diversity. Um, he, it's like he shares his glory in all of us. So unless all of us come together, we can never really appreciate God's glory. Yeah. Yeah, so. so basically, in conclusion, we're trying to say that um, you can never be oblivious of your partner's purpose. Yes. You have to be a part of their life. Yes. Like you're saying, I mean, um, you can't be passive. Mm -hmm. You can't mm -hmm. say, oh, well, it's your life. Mm -hmm. then and i'm mm -hmm. not interested in that mm -hmm. you saw it mm -hmm. you have to show a, a definite amount of support being the closest partner in their life yes. wow so and of course people it starts when people are dating mm -hmm. because that mm -hmm. is how i'll be able to see the pattern which will get to marriage yes and yes. see if it's for you if you are able to handle what mm -hmm. is coming for in a, you know forth in mm -hmm. the marriage setting wow mm -hmm. wow i mean it's uh, it's, it's mind-blowing for I believe everyone. This is just very important. Yeah, and I yeah. know guys really ignore this. Mm -hmm. They are all seeking their selfish desires. Yeah. Beyond yeah. really looking at, am I really even going to be of help to you as much as I like you? Mm -hmm. Am I going to do that? So it's very important for both parties as you consider if they're going to support you, also look at you know, the, the ability for you to really be there for this person. Mm -hmm. If you exactly. know you aren't able to, yeah. then I mean, just keep working until you find the person you can do life with. Like I mentioned, I mean, I, purpose is interdependent. And, 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 and so you understanding somebody's purpose, you may know whether you fit in in your helping role mm -hmm. and whether they fit in in, your, in, your, in, your, in helping you thrive in, in your purpose. So in one way, your purpose, by knowing your purpose, you can know who to relate and who you want to relate with. Because again, it purpose distinguishes. Mm -hmm. You can, like I say, it's you know which one to plug into mm -hmm. and what not to plug into. Mm -hmm. Wow. So, I mean, you can just summarize your heart mm -hmm. in a few seconds to these guys as we wrap up. Because I know this is a very weighty topic, but definitely we need to continue dissecting it with time. Mm -hmm. So okay. as we wrap up, um, you can just give a summary of what you want to yeah um i think god 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 has created us um has created us different um in many ways he's gifted us with different giftings uh, we are different in essence uh, but the beauty of god is that when we come together in a relationship we complement each other and so we can bring out the full glory of god by our purposes coming together that's why in the beginning he just started out by saying, you know, he looked at Adam after creating him and said it's not good for man to be alone. And so we created Eve and so as to bring Eve to complement and together they can be one representing God in totality. And so relationship offers that as an opportunity for us to bring our purposes together in a complementary way so that we can both in a relationship represents God's glory. Yeah. So celebrate your difference, but at the same time, remember your purposes are interdependent yeah. and we need each other in order to fulfill that general goal of representing God's glory. Yeah. Wow, that is enough to just yeah. finish up. Yeah. Yeah, last time you did a very nice wrap up. Steve, I'm a male, <laughs> and a wrap, and a wrap. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> well, oh my we goodness. are open. If it's not possible to touch, so Peter should give me another wrap. Oh my, oh my, oh my. Yeah. Oh my. Presence, your presence, it's, um, I don't know. Um, let, let God again lead us. Um, Heavenly Father, go before I can see where you are. 
I'm working on my salvation to be near, not be far, but sometimes I keep slipping and falling. As you pick me up with the grace, show me how I call it. May you order my steps. Let me leave it there. Wow, I mean, an album is coming up. Watch out. Oh, yeah. Just Watch out. Watching. Watch out. I mean, thank you very much. And guys, that's my youth pastor, Jackie Bragg. <laughs> yes, is any cool? I mean, just join me. Yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, anyway, you can tell us how to reach you out, of course, yeah, so that we can yeah. interact with you. Yeah. I will welcome all of you. I mean, I, I can be reached at Gospel Centers International, that is our church where we serve, Gospel Centers International Central, which is found in Mbakasi, uh, Feather Estate, um, every Sunday. We are always there. Um, otherwise, um, where else? Mm, keep you. watching this channel. <laughs> <laughs> keep popping by. I, yeah. I, I, I think it's a it's it's been a beautiful experience just sharing mm. um and just being here. Wow. Yeah, yeah maybe your Facebook for even uh, once with you personally. Daniel Masari Facebook, um where else? Um, yes. okay. Daniel Masari, all handles actually. Twitter right. mm. Daniel Masari. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> but definitely it has been fun and thank you very much and thank you to our viewers as well we always have the, the best fulfillment knowing that you guys are getting the best out there and the best of the content otherwise keep joining us every tuesday at 9 45 pm only here on Wema tv where we decode the process towards the right relationships have a good evening